fight. Save us from the wrath to come. You know, sin is what separates us from God, whether it be sexual sins, drunkenness, lying, stealing, whatever it is, Jesus wants to set you free, give you hope and a future. And Jesus is there for the broken and the hurting. Believe me, baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for you and for me, to set you free. There's not many ways to heaven, just one way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to God but through Him. We've all sinned. We all need a Savior. The Bible says the wrath of God is coming on all unrighteousness. Sin is what separates us. Every day I need to ask people for my sin, whether it be a bad thought or things I've done. And Jesus brings forgiveness to us. Jesus brings salvation and hope for the sinner. Because we're sinners that need salvation. Sinners need salvation. Every sinner needs salvation. We've all sinned. Whether it be a lie or lusting in our heart, pride, envy, slander. Sin is what separates us from God. Give your life to Jesus Christ before it's too late. There's not many ways to heaven, just one way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to God but through Him. We can't be saved through Islam or Buddhism or... Of course, atheism isn't going to save anybody. But Jesus, He's our hope. Jesus gives forgiveness, eternal life, salvation. The one true God, Jesus Christ, King of kings and Lord of lords. That's who you want to follow. That's who you want to serve. You know, some people get involved in sexual sins and at college. Very devastating. How you do? This is the thing with a cell. You're, let's say, let's say you didn't have your mouth, you know, digestive tract. Would your body work? How long would you live for? You think? Sorry. Without your your digestive tract, you know, I write you die immediately, right? So that's the thing with the cell is it has to all be functioning immediately to survive. Right. So it couldn't evolve over millions of years. Like it couldn't like be the stomach just there of the cell, you know, existing and then other parts of it started existing so that it could survive. It thinks it has to happen all at once for it to survive, so right? You're saying the only explanation for that is for there to be a God. Well, evolution, that's the theory that they say, right? How, how can that happen with this fact that there's an irreducible complexity in the, she's situated with the cell, right? So, just dealing with the theory of evolution. Now, I think that when you look at that, it would lead you to believe that there's a creator, just like there's a building right here that doesn't can't be made by accident, right? The pro what's the probability of this being made by accident, by an explosion? That's not likely, because it's very ordered. Explosion exactly. An increase in entropy where it's very ordered. Exactly, yeah. So, that, that's what's sad, is these, these, these schools teach so, so much... Uh, they're getting paid to teach lies, and very illogical lies. I'm an ex-math teacher. I look at probabilities, of, you know, and you can just study it. It's just like the probability of evolution is ridiculously low. But you realize the first, um, your first point, the, the, oh, the on this complexity side. of a cell. Yeah. That's, your, that's just your interpretation. That's not scientific evidence. Scientific evidence is empirical. That's your, your interpretation of that is what well, you're using as argument. That's not evidence well, evidence. well, how can you prove that that isn't true, though? How can you prove that... The cell, it does not have an irreducible complexity. The proof falls on you because you're claiming that there's a God. I don't have to disprove there's a God. You understand that? Well, it's on you. Well, this, well, well, this is kind of, I guess, if you don't want to take that as proof for God, you can definitely take it as proof for no evolution, right? No, because it's yeah. still probable. You should know, since you're a math teacher, that everything, almost anything, is probable, even if it's like. Well, there's a, definitely a minuscule probability that that building can move in an accident. Right, right. Very small, yeah, it's of still course. Yeah, but it's extremely unlikely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying that there's not a super tiny, you know, probability of some of these ridiculous concepts. <laughs> but, but the chances are pretty low, yeah. And then and there's another one, too. Like, this is um, the second law, of course, thermodynamics. is go from order to disorder. Yeah. They don't become, over millions of years, something else, right? It just de decomposes. Then you have the fossil records, right? Um, there's no tra transitional forms. You know about that? 
you know, know what that is, a transitional form. Is that a biology term? I, I'm not a biologist. I'm a oh, chemist. Well, it's, it's basically like they're saying from monkey to man. So what between the oh, monkey, it, all the skeletal... It's just like hundreds of thousands of years. Like it's not, it wasn't just point A to point B. There was like, a, there was like, it was... Yeah, that's really what they teach continuous. you. Yeah, but this is the thing. They don't have the skeletons to prove that the, there was transitional forms from monkey to man. All the different transitional forms that are require, all the skeletal, you know, proof, right? The, the excavate. I don't think that's true. I, I, I mean, that's all. I, obviously, I don't have like the, like the skeletons in front of me. You know, that's what I'm that. saying. Yeah, yeah, they don't have this. This is one thing I've learned is they had like a, a guy use a pig tooth and uh, another thing is to kind of create something and you know, but they don't really have a true skeleton skeletons of transitional forms. So that's another issue. You know, that's super interesting though, because you're so like um, cautious about like what you learned about in biology. But why aren't you cautious about the existence of God? Why is that? Why am I not conscious? Of, no, 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 cautious. So like you're oh. kind of like seeing all these like. Why am I so certain of God? Is that what you mean? Or? No, I'm asking. So you're kind of like hesitant to believe these biological facts, right? Or that they teach us facts. Well, I. So why I, are you not hesitant? As far as the theory of evolution, evolution, yeah, I don't think it's fact. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So why are you not hesitant when someone tells you God is real? The one that tells, tells what? Why are you not as hesitant when someone comes up to you and says that God is real? Like, why do you oh, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, of course, personally, I have a personal relationship with God, so I'm very convinced how he's changed my life that he's real. Um, and I just think, logically, it just makes sense. When you look at the complexity of the creation, right, it's it's very clear to me that it's, it's designed, there's there's science, you know, the more I've learned, you know, there's, there's the order, you know, and you look at a, a snowflake, the complexity of that, the beauty of it, right? Things like that. It's just like you know the complexity, or you know, like a snowflakes are always like they always have six corners. Like they're specifically like that because of chemistry. Like that's how, that's like the max amount of area they can get while not going over like the limit of like six. Uh, there's a reason behind it. Basically, that's like, interesting. Say, yeah, like yeah, there's, there's, the amazing there's order. Things, but yeah. Still, still a lot. Yeah. I don't think. I think your interpretation. I think it's not. So you're basically saying that because of the complexity, yeah. that's how you interpret it, that you believe that there's any possible solutions that there's a God, right? Uh, well, I th I, the main thing is to just to take a little uh, uh, attack on the evolution theory. Right. Now, that alone wouldn't say there's a God in a lot of people's mind, but I think that we need to look at some of these theories and think, is this really logical? Does this really make sense? And then go from there. Okay, if it doesn't make sense, then there has to be some other cause for this creation. Okay, no, that's, that's totally fair. But what I don't understand is how your personal experience is any more logical than the like, thousands of years or like the hundreds of years we've had, you know, adding onto the biological theory. You know what I'm saying? Um, now what do you mean by adding onto the biological so, theory? So it's not one person. It wasn't just Darwin, let's say, for example, that created the evolution, the theory of evolution. It was mm -hmm. an effort of multiple scientists, and it's been going on for hundreds of years. Sure, sure. Because your personal relationship with God is limited to your lifespan, and it's limited to just you. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Well, there's a, millions of people that have had the same experiences I have, too, though, with God. Um, but with evolution, you know, this is what's interesting about Darwin. He didn't have a microscope that could see the complexity in cells and stuff. So I think that if he could have seen that now, I highly doubt he would have said anything about, you know, there's, there's, there's evolution and all that. But this is another thing, too. This is what I want to look up. These are scientists. Louis Pasteur, microbiologist. He said, the more I study nature, the more I stand amazed at the work of the creator. Isaac Newton, uh, God governs all things. Blaise Pascal. There is a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of every man. So these are very smart, intelligent, scientific people that okay. believe in God. So you're giving me three scientists where there's like millions, you know, that have, oh, have existed. And oh, sure, there's tons that... You don't share that opinion. Yeah, there's definitely some those that don't. Clearly... Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some that don't. But I think especially early on in our country, more people were God believers than today. I think so that has to do with the increase in education. Uh, would you think, it, I think it might have to do with the increase in demonic activity. And do you believe in demons and the other side? You know, a lot of people, have, a lot of people have those type of experiences, though, right? But personal experiences aren't empirical. It's not empirical evidence. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can't be... You can't see you can't, it. You know, yeah, exactly. It yeah. can't be reproduced, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. yeah. But I'll leave it Harder to prove I, that. I have to go, you know. Well, I'm talking, talking to you, man. Yeah, good talking to you. Yeah. Even though we disagree, you know. All yeah. Nice hearing the other side. What's your name? Oliver. Oliver, I'll pray for you, man. What's your name? Joshua. All right. Uh, nice to meet you, Oliver. You too. Thank you. Awesome. Jesus died for you. Hey, there's scientific evidence for God if you guys want to hear about it. Hey, Jamal, I didn't see there. <laughs> I didn't know that was you. Yeah. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> right on, right on. How long you were talking to him? Uh, it's been like about 
Well, three, four minutes, something like okay, that. Okay. Yeah, it's a good little conversation. <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother Jamal right here. He came out to preach with me. Say hi, Jamal. What's up? What do you believe about Jesus? Jesus is Lord, he's God, and he's Savior. Amen, amen. That's are you, right. Are you streaming on TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this, this is, uh, this is uh, on my YouTube. Oh, your YouTube. Stream. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you stream on TikTok? Huh? Can you do that on TikTok? Too? Yeah, if you have to have like a thousand followers. Oh, okay. I don't have that thing right now. Yeah, that's good to know. Very cool. Uh, where's the speaker? Like, how big is it? It's very small. It's still perfect. Oh, okay. That's yeah, cool. you see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not. It's not like. It's not massive. Loud, or not massive. Yeah, just it's enough recording. to kind of make you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a human there with a voice. How much you pay for it? Um, my friend got it for me. Oh, I think okay. it's probably about forty, fifty. Okay, like that. I didn't give them no yeah, time. you can get them all. I'll give it to you, man. Yeah, yeah bro. Man. We can pray for these folks if you want to. Go ahead. I forgot to bring a mask, man. I, I did too. Those. I ain't gonna ask you to bring me one. I totally forgot about it. Oh, man. I know. Kind of sucks. I wonder what you <laughs> But that's okay. We're outside, so. Yeah. They just want you to have it in a building. Right, I saw. You guys got tracks too? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, sure. I didn't expect so many people to be coming out. <laughs> this is the time, around well, lunchtime, they're coming out. Hey, you know, Lord Jesus Lord. died for you, live for him. There's not many ways to heaven. <laughs> Turn the Jesus before it's too late. Sin, we all need the Savior. Did you have to like sign in? No. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I, mean, I didn't know where to even do that. I have any problems. I met, a, I met a Bible study group out here too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was pretty. Type of some of those guys. That's cool. When's the last time you were out here? Years ago, man. Oh. I think the last time was with you. Oh yeah, I think. it's been a while for me too. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. There is scientific evidence for God. If you guys want to hear about it, let me know. I can share some scientific evidence for God. Jesus died for you, live for Him. Sin is what separates us from God. Sin is what destroys our soul. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You want eternal life? Oh, thank you. Jesus died for you. Live for him. This could be the last day of your life. Are you ready for Jesus? We have scientific evidence for God. You guys want to hear about the scientific evidence for God? <laughs> yeah, go by the next uh, science building and maybe talk to some of those folks. <laughs> Jesus died for you to live for him. You don't want to live in sin. You want to live for him that is Jesus Christ. Are you not using your, your, your microphone? Your... It's the battery one, Dave. Oh, the battery. <laughs> yeah. Is it like a rechargeable battery or you have to like replace it? Yeah, I got to recharge it. Oh, okay. Yep. Jesus died for you, live for him. There's not many ways to heaven, just one way. Do you believe in Jesus, sir? God bless you. God bless you too, Sonny. Thanks for the encouragement. Are you streaming on YouTube or just recording? Just YouTube, yeah. Streaming? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, because uh, my battery's almost dead on my other one. And uh, yeah, this, I think we can just live stream it. Jesus died if you live for him. You believe in Jesus? All right. Praise God, man. Yeah, he's our only hope. He's for the broken. He's, you know, if you're broken in your life, you're hurting, you can call on him for prayer. He sets us free. You guys need prayer, let us know. You guys, sometimes we need prayer. We need salvation.
We always need salvation. Really, we always need prayer. I need prayer every day. I need prayer. I need God's word every day. You guys ever studied God's word? Yeah? Good. Jesus, King of Kings, you guys believe Jesus is God in the flesh? He is. We got a couple witnesses here. There's, we got two witnesses here that believe Jesus is God in the flesh. And there's a lot of other witnesses. If you guys need prayer, let us know. Jesus died for you. Live for him. Here at Cal State Fullerton. Jesus died on the cross for the people at Cal State Fullerton. You want to go to like another spot or um, well, well, this is kind of a good intersection because they keep coming this way, I think, for the sign anyway. But I mean, we can go. You think there's more people over somewhere else? Yeah. Or do you want to stay here? I'm just trying to think. I think uh, there's more traffic over there. Over here? Like, yeah, we check it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's check it out. Yeah. So we're going to trek over here a little further down the road. We'll see if we can find some more fish. Jesus said to be fishers of men. Jesus died for you, live for him. Look at all these folks out here. How you doing, brother? Hey, good. How are you, man? Sign, by the way. Thank you, man. Awesome. I'm so Hi. glad. Hi, how you doing? I don't know if I saw my scapular. What is it again? I don't know if I saw my scapular. A scapular? Yeah, you know what that is? Never no, 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 Catholic, yeah. I'm a Catholic, so. We have a, we have a few Christian clubs on campus, too, so that's what I've just, doing that. I just connected with the brothers. Now, do you know the difference between Catholicism and Christianity? Yeah. Now, how, how, how would you get saved in Catholicism? Confession and uh, Eucharist. Now, the Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, I'm believing uh, her. We're not going to talk about that right now, but I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, I get where you're going, but the whole, the whole point gets to what church it was originally created by Jesus Christ, and that was the Roman Catholic Church. Well, there was no word it's Catholic it. in the Bible. You're right. You are right. It wasn't mentioned. It's actually called the Universal Church. Uh, a few hundred years later, they named the Catholic Church. In, I don't know, the Nicene Creed of 1100 or something like that. But, mm -hmm. uh, the Council, matter. The Council of Nicene. Now, do yeah. you believe you have to be born again? Like John chapter three talks about. I mean, we can nitpick for Bible verses all day. I don't. I'm not really like super well versed in. Yeah, read. Bible verses, yeah, I just but. encourage you just to read the Bible. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it, that's that's the thing is what I learned when I was reading the Bible is that some of the things that some of these church folks taught weren't yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll catch you guys up. Yeah, I got that's the issue. There is a difference. Catholicism is not Christianity. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So. I wonder if we can stand. There's a good spot here. Are we, are we here by the wall? Yeah. Oh, shit. Depends on it. Let's try right here. It's like a good little area. Here. Yeah. Jesus died for you, live for him. There's not many ways to heaven. We've all sinned. We all need a savior. There's not. Kind of like cuts off sometimes. For him. I don't know. I think the other spot was kind of better. Yeah. I think we're kind of, kind of hard to reach for. For some reason, it seems better over there. I think the reception might be better too with the live stream. Jesus died for you, live for him. We've all sinned, we all need a savior. Whether it be sexual sin or drunkenness, Jesus can be free. Give you forgiveness and eternal life. 
How you doing? You believe in Jesus? Yeah, good. Good, good. Just one way. We've all sinned. We all need a Savior, Jesus Christ. Go to the intersection. Want to go back up to the intersection? <laughs> Jesus died for you, live for him. Ottawa needs a lot of street preachers. Hey, I ain't mad, Monica. Yeah, thanks for that encouragement. Jesus died for you, folks. Yeah, I'd like to go to Ottawa. I want to travel, man. I want to go to other cities for sure. Maybe you guys can help me set that up. Message me. You can always email me or message me on YouTube, but I would like to travel to other cities and preach the word. That's something that's been on my heart, actually. I mean, I already traveled to a lot of cities, starting in Spokane. Now I'm in California, but um, yeah, the more the better. It'd be fun. Jesus died to live for him. Are you interested in teaching? Interesting. My brother Jamal here with us. Jesus Christ, I can sure. What does it say? Yeah. Oh, Jesus I'm Christ doing, matters. I'm doing stuff with you. How you doing, brother? What's your name? Wilson. Wilson. Gosh, I'm live yes. streaming. You have anything to say about Jesus, Wilson? What do you think about Jesus? He's a Christian. Oh, yes? He's actually a good. pastor. You're oh, you are? Pastor, yeah. Oh, good. Awesome. Well, are you with the church? Or? No, I just moved my phone. We are the church. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. How effective is this? Huh? How effective is this? This is seed planting. Yes. His word will not come back void. So they might think about it later, you know. You're not going to necessarily see someone just right away come to Christ, but it's, you got to plant those seeds, mm. right? God brings the increase. Sure, so, sure. Yeah, yeah. You work yeah. here or what? I'm, uh, my church is my wife back to the And I partnered with, like, fish and and stuff to oh, I see. Help, help them out. Yeah. All right, man. How you yeah. doing? What, what have you been up to? What's that? Yeah. 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 Amen. Glad you believe. Um, That's awesome. Oh, okay. I didn't know you were that good at piano. <laughs> Where you're teaching it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I have like my own. Uh, Jesus died for you, live for him. How you doing? You guys believe in Jesus? Yeah. How you doing, buddy? We've all sinned. We all need a savior. There's not many ways to heaven, just one way. You guys believe in Jesus? No? What do you believe in? What do you believe in? I believe in myself. Can you save yourself from your sin though? I'm finding my way. I believe, I believe who I want to be. Yeah? And I believe that I'm the only one that can make things happen. Well, God can give you eternal life though. You can't make your eternal life happen. I don't want eternal life. You it's don't want to live long. forever? It's too long. You want to be in hell though, that's the other option. Why are there only two options? That's, that's just the reality. Yeah. Jesus wouldn't lie to you. Jesus never lied. Well, I pray for you, man. Let's pray for the salvation of the souls out here. Jesus died for you, live for him. You guys can email me at servingjesus992 and 2 at yahoo.com. That's servingjesus992 and 2 at yahoo.com. I gotta look up where Ottawa is. I'll preach out there. One day. How you doing? You guys believe in Jesus? Yes, sir. What do you believe in? Not that. He's real, man. He wouldn't lie to you. Jesus never lied. For you, he died. Jesus wouldn't lie. For you, he died. You guys can believe in Jesus. Jesus is there for the broken and the hurting. Jesus is there when you don't know what to do. Jesus is always there for us. Turn to him before it's too late.
Hey, bud, you believe in Jesus? Jesus died for you. Live for him. We've all sinned. We all need a savior. Looks like some of the folks are going back into their classes now. Capital of Canada. Oh, wow. I've heard awful things about Canada. Awesome. Truckers feeding the homeless. Hey, man, I work a lot with the homeless, too. Where the comfy is happening, come out. Now we need a lot of support. Hey, I'm going to pray about that. Ottawa, capital of Canada. I would love to preach there. I hear that in Canada, they even make it like illegal to talk about homosexuality. Or um, I heard that it was illegal to evangelize maybe even in Canada. I don't know if that's true or not, but... But yeah, I've heard a lot of Canada's really been getting mean to the Christians. Mean against the Christians, Elizabeth. So um, we got to pray for Canada. And I think it's awesome that the truckers are feeding the homeless. Of course, I have my Facebook group, Homeless Advocates for Christ. A lot of you know I do a lot of work for the homeless myself. Let's keep the homeless in prayer. Please share the video, like, subscribe, comment. I love to hear your comments, ideas, and thoughts. It's great to hear you guys um, get your thoughts and comments. So we got to work together, make change in this world. This world is so wicked, you know? So many people rejecting the truth of the gospel and Jesus. And we got to we gotta get this truth out. We got to pray for people. Pray that they come to know the Lord. Hey, buddy, you believe in Jesus? That's great, man. Jesus died. Be sure to tell people about Jesus. Tell your family and your friends about Jesus. Jesus says to go make disciples of all nations, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. We're commanded to teach, to share the good news of the gospel, and everything that God tells us to do. Seek the Lord while he can still be found. Turn to Jesus before it's too late. There's not many ways to heaven, just one way. We've all sinned. We all need a Savior. You guys believe in Jesus? Yes. Yes? Good, good, awesome. He's real. He wouldn't lie to you. Jesus would never lie. For us, he died. Turn to Jesus before it's too late. About to shut this video off for a minute, but thanks for joining. Feel free to uh, share the video, like, subscribe, comment. Maybe I'll leave it on a little bit longer here. You guys believe in Jesus? Sometimes there's some hard-heartedness, but you just got to keep telling. Jesus died for you, live for him. There's not many ways to heaven. There's some Bible studies on campus. If you guys want to get involved in a campus Bible study, let me know. I know of some campus Bible studies out here. We got to know the Word of God. The Word of God is what educates us and empowers us. Pray for you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, there's no hope of your salvation. You need to be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Pray for God to fill you with the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's right. Jesus died for you. Live for him. Turn to Jesus before it's too late. You guys believe in Jesus? Um, no. No? He's real. We've all sinned. We all need salvation, forgiveness. Hell is real. We got to get right with the Lord. Hey, thanks for sharing, Elizabeth. You're awesome. I'm praying for Canada right now. I'm going to pray right now. We got a member of Canada. 
Lord, we pray for Canada, for breakthroughs in Canada, for spiritual breakthroughs, transformation in that place. I know that there are is satanic strongholds in Canada. We pray for the destruction of these strongholds, that your word would move powerfully in that place somehow, some way, that people will be set free, delivered, that you touch the hearts of the leaders of Canada, that they would be humbled before you, that every knee would bow to you, Lord. I pray for the, the leadership of Canada, Lord, that you would just take their pride, Lord, take away their pride, as only you can. We pray for a major miracle, major breakthroughs out there, Lord, that your word would run swiftly all through Canada, Lord. And just raise up more and more preachers out there. More and more preachers in Canada to share the truth. Give them boldness. We pray for boldness for your church and your people, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, raise them up to do mighty works in your name. That you might get all the glory and the praise. I ask this in Jesus' mighty name, amen. <laughs> King of kings. Jesus died for you, live for him. Do you guys believe in Jesus? We you know we've all sinned. Do you believe in Jesus? Not real. He, why would you say that? I got scientific evidence to prove he's real. There's no evidence of evolution. Jesus died for you, live for him. Evolution is such a lie. Evolution is one of the biggest lies ever. We did not evolve from monkeys. Jesus died for you. We are created by our creator. Created with certain inalienable rights, right? We are not monkeys or coming from monkeys. There's still a lot of monkeys in the world. And we didn't come from those monkeys. So let's try to be people of truth. Let's try to, let's just try to really look at the situation here. What the, the world is telling people, lies. Lie after lie after lie. That we came from monkeys, that it's okay just to keep living in our sin, that Jesus isn't real, all these lies. Jesus says, I am the truth. I am the way, I am the life. Yes, so much lies in science. That's right, Elizabeth. I would say that they use science to prove things that, you know, evolution, but when you really look at the science behind it, it's like it doesn't prove evolution. It proves that there is intelligent design. When you see the complexity of a cell and just the impossibility, you understand the second law of thermodynamics, things go from order to disorder, order to disorder, they don't evolve over millions of years into stuff, something even more amazing. It just decomposes. So, yeah, there's just so many holes. When you really study science, actually, and the laws of science, that back up ev the creation, not evolution. That's something people need to understand. Yes, we got to boycott, I, I agree. Boycott the fake news. Yeah. And we got to preach the truth to people. Exactly. You guys believe in Jesus? Hey, that's great. Awesome. Me too. Have a good day. Jesus died for you, live for Him. Sin is what separates us from God. Sin. Don't choose sin over God. Choose God. He can set you free. Give you eternal life, salvation, and hope in the future. Who doesn't want salvation from hell? You gotta be insane to not want salvation from hell. Jesus died for you. How you doing? Amen. God bless you. Jesus died for you folks here at Cal State Fullerton. Turn to Jesus. You guys believe in Jesus? Jesus died for you on the cross. We all need Jesus.